Alice's Catering and Alice's Restaurant, located now in Arcadia, Indiana. I have been doing catering for the past 15, 16 years, and this past year I opened up my own restaurant, I expanded. Since turkey is the primary choice for all of us for Thanksgiving, and people seem to sometimes get scared about cooking a turkey, if they, especially if they've never cooked one. It's really quite simple. There's just a few things you need to know. And I can show you how to make it look gorgeous also. That toasty brown, shiny color coming out of the oven. Everyone would be impressed that you did this. It's really very simple, and it, there's not a lot of prep to it. So I'll show you how to do it in some easy ways. Okay, I'm going to show you an easy way to make perfect turkey every time. First of all, rinse off your turkey. Uh, raw poultry is can be very dangerous with a lot of germs and bacteria, so I always just wash it off, rinse it off in water. For about a 20 pound turkey, thaw it out in your refrigerator for four or five days. If um, it's still frozen when you take it out and you want to cook it, then let it sit in cool water to finish thawing out. Don't try and cook it while it's still frozen. And do not put a raw turkey on your kitchen countertop to thaw out because that will cause bacteria to grow and it can make, make you sick. You don't want to do that. So you take out your turkey. It's ready to go. Make sure you take out the neck and the gizzards. The gizzards here are found in the back flap. Just reach in, pull them out. They're in a bag. The neck is in the front. Just pull it out. Some people save this to make soup or to make chickens or a turkey stock with, that's fine, you can do that. Frankly, I don't like them, so I throw them away. But you do whatever you want with them. Now, you've got your beautiful turkey. I'm going to do some salt. We use kosher salt here, a little bit of pepper. And then the secret to getting a nice golden brown turkey is to melt your butter, but to put a simple bay leaf in your butter. The bay leaf with the butter will make it a dark and golden brown color. And it's gorgeous when you take it out of the oven. So just spread that, spread it generously around the turkey. Uh, go inside also with the butter. As Paula Dean says, you can't ever get too much butter. Just throw it on here. And make sure you have some on the inside also. Now what we're going to put inside the turkey to help keep it moist is a half a lemon or you can use an apple. We'll also just put it inside the cavity. And whatever kind of seasoning you like, fresh seasoning, uh, we're using fresh parsley today. You can use fresh rosemary or sage, whatever. Just stick that in there. If you're going to stuff your turkey with dressing, cook the dressing first because what you put inside this turkey does not really cook to a proper and safe temperature. So cook it first and then put it inside your turkey and then cook the turkey. And again, add a bay leaf to the inside. It gives a good flavor, help keeps, keeps it moist. If the legs are not tied, do tie the legs together so it doesn't all spread out. It's a good idea also to wrap the wings and the legs in aluminum foil. It keeps them from burning because the white meat will cook a lot quicker than the dark meat. So you don't want it to burn, so wrap it up. Cook it about 350. Average is about 35 minutes per pound. You wanna know how much of a turkey to get for your family? Safe bet is to go like one pound per person because you're taking into account the bones in the turkey. And one pound should give you enough for a few leftovers for the next day, which is really, in my opinion, the best part of having turkey at Thanksgiving is having the sandwiches the next day. Don't cover it up, just cover up, like I said, the dark meat, put it in the oven. If you have a thermometer in the turkey, that's great, but always have a meat thermometer. The white meat should be around 170, the dark meat should be around 180, 185. Take the turkey out of the oven when, you, when it's reached that temperature and let it sit for about 30 minutes before you start carving it, because it continues to cook and it will continue to uh, use the juices and stay moist if you let it sit for a while before you cook it or carve it. And then you're all ready to go. And that's all there is to cooking the perfect turkey. It's very simple, just a few simple steps, a few safety steps, and you're good to go. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. You can seat 150 for any banquets or any parties. 
uh, that people want to have or weddings. Uh, we also uh, serve Sunday brunch. We're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for lunch and dinner through the winter. Uh, we're known for our bread and tenderloins. Um, we're also known for our fried chicken. We make, uh, our food is homemade. Uh, our meatloaf is very, very good. Our chicken and dumplings are made from scratch. So we kind of gear the restaurant towards home-cooked family-type meals, which is a really big hit up here in this area. We're reasonably priced. We start at $5.95. Uh, we have a special every night. Thursday nights are fried chicken night, Friday night's fish, and Saturday night is prime rib, and then our Sunday buffet.